Colorado, Texas, the legend of lip sync, Taylor Holder. And representing YouTube in the red corner, weighing in at 179 pounds with over 2 million subscribers, hailing from Saudi Arabia, now in the UK, the beast from the east, Anisan He's keeping his hands up. He's being patient. That looks like an educated boxer to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Paige. And you're going to see Gib just rush, just rush, just rush. Bringing it down to the body. Not utilized a ton tonight is those body shots. Those body shots can take your opponent's breath away. Ooh. You know, when the odds first came out on Stat Hero, Taylor Holder was an underdog. And then I did my number one sports betting show in the country, The Early Edge. And we said Taylor Holder should have been the favorite. And all of a sudden... And it switched. He, it was switched. It switched. I'm just saying we moved the market. Just like that. <laughs> well, Gibb has a lot of fans, and it's not just his personal fans or his personal subscribers. The entire YouTube UK uh, is all supporting Gibb. Some of the biggest creators in the world supporting Gibb. And, of course, TikTok. You know, my, my partner, Ian Parker, he said that Taylor, he's been hearing through the grapevine, has been very, very calm. And we're starting to see that here in the first round. He's taken a few shots. He's come out very, very slow. Holder looks amazing. I mean, he truly is being as patient as possible. He's not letting any of those punches come through. He's going to tire Gib out. If Gib keeps being the forward aggressor like this, he could get tired, and I think that's when Holder's going to capitalize. He definitely looks like the most seasoned fighter we've seen to this point. One went in a little low. On the entire card, right? Holder definitely, he Ooh. seems oh. like oh, not even, he's the real he's the real boxer. On yeah, this he card. really yeah, Paige, he really is. Good combinations there by Holder. And very quickly that two minutes is up. That went way faster. I, it feels like we just it, got started. I agree. It feels like that round went faster than Love every fight down. that happened Love tonight. Sit down. Let's listen into the corners. Let's go now. Take it to him. All right. You got to double your weight in. He's open. For, but when he comes in, all he wants to do is shoot that overhand. So you got to watch out for it. Okay. Yeah. Cover yourself and set. You know that. Yeah. Okay. But that's about it. That's all you got. So if you hit him. You come in, he doesn't have much. So, All right, so you heard him talk right about the overhand right. right. But you Let's take a look at some of that first round action. Got a good body shot here. Made him drop his hands. It definitely looks like he felt that one. Yep. I love the corner work, though. The commentary that we hear from Holder's corner is he's telling him it's time for him to bring it to him. It's time for him to pick up the pace and throw his overhand right as Gibb is throwing his one-two. I do understand the game plan, but because of his lack of output, I think he lost that first round. I would have to say so. And, and that's the thing in boxing. and It is who is landing the most punches. It doesn't matter necessarily if every single one of those causes damage. It's who's the aggressor. All right, here we go. Round two. Gibb in the blue shorts and Taylor Holder in the white. And Gibb definitely has been the aggressor. We'll see if that continues in round two. Holder now in the classic boxing stance. I do. Oh, sorry, I do. I want Holder to keep his composure, but I do want him to start turning it up a little bit here. 
you got to believe at some point he's going to let the hands go. And he looks good, right? You're looking at him. He's on the fence. not really getting hit. But in the eyes of the judges, he is losing when his back's on the ropes. Ooh. He's going to kind of get him teed off on. And here's a, here's an important thing, Coach Page. Gibb is in the best shape of his life. We've seen him in other fights. He's never been this good looking as far as shape. So that might be the difference. And Taylor a little bit frustrated with a late hit. And now, here come the hands. And that was late. You know what? The ref gave him a stern warning for that one. And now Taylor Holder, very calm. You can see very calculating. But it seems like that one frustrated him. It frustrated him, and he's turning it up. He's putting a little bit more heat behind the punches he's throwing now. It's very, very clear who's had the most real training tonight. <laughs> it's this man right here. Now, he's not winning the fight, though. That's Paige's point. Well, Gib, he gets good trainers, but he's very unorthodox. And that's the thing, these short rounds, right? These are two minutes. You only have two minutes to capitalize. All of a sudden, two rounds have gone by, and you're being a little bit too patient. Now you're down two rounds. You it's can't point. be that patient. You have to bring it to your opponent. It almost feels like his trainers gave him this game plan for getting about the shorter rounds. And that's an element you have to think about. Traditional male boxers, it is three-minute rounds, and that's something the coaches need to needed to reevaluate for. And again, a very, very active round for Gibb. A very, I almost want to use the word passive round for Taylor Holder. That was insane. We just seen Gibb uh, say a swear word to someone in the audience. Not sure who that was right behind us. I mean, it looks like a parent. He, he's focused. He's focused on Taylor Holder and focused on Taylor Holder. Holder's mother, maybe? Mother, it looks like a parent. And you know, everyone who came out to support their athlete tonight, I can tell you, I, my mom watches me fight, professional bare knuckle boxer, right? My mom will not go to my fights because I think that she would be a little crazy too. Professional performance. Here's some of the action from the second round. You heard the corner say, you're giving a professional performance. And so far, Gibb is. And there we see the late shot. That was after the bell. Or not after the bell, after the ref separated him. The ref is the most important person and in that And Taylor, very line. upset. Look at him. He's very like, Very upset. <laughs> okay, we'll see if the game plan changes now that we move into the third of five rounds. And if I was scoring the fight, I would have Gibb up two rounds to none. Foos, what do you have? Two rounds to Gibb. Gibb is just much more the aggressor right now. I don't see Taylor letting his hands go, but if he's able to outlast Gibb and if Gibb tires out, we could have a switch later on in the fight. But for now, I got Gibb. Well, every time Taylor Holder shakes his head at him and says you're not doing anything, he's not coming back with anything. Well, the thing is, is Holder, he's proving to the judges that punch landed. He's saying, oh, no, that one didn't hurt, shaking it off. But he's proving it landed, and that's what matters. Those punches are landing. They might not be hurting you as much as you think, but you're getting a reaction out of your opponent, right? I love when my opponents shake it off, like, no, that didn't hurt. Ah, uh, yes, it did. Holder's got to do something. I mean, he's just playing defense. And that works in longer fights, right? This is five two-minute rounds. It is too short to be on on the defense the entire fight for this long. But we're in the third round. He needs this round. I, I would agree. He is starting to open the hands up a little bit more, but for the third straight round, Kim is way more aggressive. Kim's cardio is holding up. I feel like that off, off the first round, I was curious if Gibbs' cardio would hold up. He's pulling. He's and it seems like he still has a ton of energy to go. Gibb wasting no time after the breakup getting right back into the pocket. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy for Gibb right now. And it clearly is not over, but it looks like I'm going to be dishing out 10 grand. Hey, it's not over until it's over. And Gibb continues to throw combinations. And Taylor Holder's getting frustrated, and I'm not quite sure who he's frustrated with. No, you know, I'm not either. And, and the most important person, you got to listen to the ref. Whatever they say, they can stop this fight whenever they want to. So let's let's keep listening to the ref. Good ending. I was curious if there was going to be some more late punches there. Well, it's got to be frustrating to not just not have a break, right? Okay. Gibb is just you going, going. Take it too. Come on, man. Let's listen right. in. Yeah. He ain't got fucking shit. Taylor, he's got nothing, man. 
Come on, when you when you're aggressive, he's scared. So come on, take this shit to him. Please take it to him. All right, come on, Taylor. Don't let him get you on the roof. We work on the center of the ring. Yeah. Up top, yeah. yeah. Cross the speed one two. Speed one two, yeah. Cool. Once you pull him a few times, you will go power one two. Yes. So keep moving, keep establishing that jab. That's it, you're good. You're controlling. Yeah, fantastic. We're in round four. That's it, we're in round four now, Gil. Yeah? You know, I can see a little fantastic. bit of frustration out of Holder's that corners. Jab. I feel Control like they're jab. frustrated Control. that they've trained yeah. to yeah. keep Gil. this fight fantastic in the center of the ring, and that's not it's happening. Not they've the also they trained train. to be aggressive. They did. And that's the thing, he's telling him, hey, turn it up. What are you doing? We see it so many times that fighters aren't doing what their corners want them to do or what they've trained to do. Well, and it's different, right? You can train something over and over again, but when those lights are on, this is different. Fighting fighting isn't, you don't get a take two. You don't get to take a picture and take another one. Good left hand there by Taylor. And you got to believe that he's going to need a knockout to win this fight down three rounds to none. Absolutely, at this point, I mean, he's got to do something. And now Holder, the kid coming right back. When he's throwing, he's landing, but Holder needs to be throwing a lot, lot more. I hate to say it, but it almost looks like his training has caused him to be too professional. If that's a thing. He just seems hesitant, you know? Yeah. He, he seems like he's trying to be too calculated. And a lot of times fighters can try to be too technical in there, but you need to trust that your technique will come out. You just have to go out there and fight, right? The technique is in your body. It's in your muscle, muscle memory. The technique will happen. Your job is to go out there and fight. Don't think so much. Big overhand right from Holder. Gib right back in his grill. Ooh. And at this point, Gib just seems like he does not care. He's nope. taking some punches, doesn't phase him whatsoever. He's going to eat a couple and just keep swinging, swinging, swinging. He said, this is just the guy that I'm going to go through. And so far, that's exactly what he's done. Big right hand by Holder. And a funny, funny little uh, observation, you can tell on his back he's got those marks from cupping. So right. he's obviously taking his recovery extremely seriously as well. Absolutely. I mean, I can't wait when this is done to look at the scorecard and see how many landed. Oh, big left hand for Gibbs straight. Oh, oh big right overhand hand right. Follow. And Holder might continue to shake his head, but right now he's getting dominated, he's guys. He is down. He needs to throw more straight punches. The problem is he's throwing one or two straight punches down the pipe. He has the reach advantage. Stop closing the distance. Stay at your reach. Right? Your no he, he's coming in too you close into Gibbs' range. Hey, you gotta let it go. Put it on here. How do you feel? Okay, okay. okay but wait for me to know. But Taylor, you have to take control of this. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic yeah. Double jab. Cool. Double yeah. jab. Yeah. You're not touching up for free. I'm gonna move him. Stand discipline. That's yeah? it. You stay discipline. Good footwork. All the way through. All right. Let's take a look at some of that fourth round. Ooh. I love the way Gibbs is mixing it up here, right? You're seeing the body shots. You're seeing him come oh. back to the head. Beautiful left hook. Followed by this right, right? Now look how active body. he continues to be. Head, Ooh. mixing it up. Punches and bunches, body head, body head. That's how you're gonna sneak punches in through your opponent's guard. 39 total punches landed for Gibb. I hope you're all betting out there at Stat Hero. Taylor Holder. The favorite all the way up to minus 180 at some point today, and he is on the ropes. He needs a knockout here in round number five. He better get going. He's got one moment, one shot. Mom spaghetti, Taylor one Holder. Shot, one opportunity. <laughs> and we're seeing it. He is. You know, in the corner, he did his corner. He said, How are you feeling? He said, All right, I'm a bit tired. No, you're not. Tell yourself, you are not. You've got 90 seconds to let your hands go. Look at the endurance of Gibb. We've never seen him slow down at all, and he's just going, going, going. He's going forward. That forward pressure is working for him, right? But I like he's getting in, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and popping off his shots, getting out of the pocket so he's not getting hit. Gibb's cardio has to be commended. His preparation on point. Oh, yeah, looking at him tonight, he's got the cardio. He's ready for a real boxing match. He's ready for one that's going to stay on his record forever. Oh, and good combination. 24 body shots landed for Gibb thus far. Really wearing the body down of Taylor Holder. 40 
seconds left. I mean, it's the last opportunity for Taylor. Hey, you can't complain to the ref. Yeah, it's way too late for that. Don't lose your focus, man. You got to stay in the fight. And as we close in, it looks like an underdog story. Absolutely. I am so proud of Gibb. I mean, this is what everybody expected from Gibb when he fought Jake Paul. It just didn't happen. And this is a full redemption tonight. This is huge. I'm so impressed with the, his tenacity, his will to win, his forward pressure. That's Gibb, it. That's beautiful it. Beautiful fight. Beautiful performance. He could do five more rounds. He could do five more rounds. Well, I would be smiling too uh, yeah. if I just gave, gave right? that performance. That performance I Congratulations to both these fighters. They went out there, they fought their hearts out. They looked, they looked professional, you know? They looked like they have been training for a fight. Well, Taylor Holder is smiling and walking around as if he thinks he may have won this fight. Well, I, you know what I would say? That might be his coaches telling him to. You always put your hands up. You act like you won the fight. Maybe sway. If, if the judging's close, you want to convince the judges you won. I would be shocked if it's not 50-45 <laughs> on all three scorecards. Yeah, I mean, just give, give Tuck everything. Everything. If that is our co-main event, boy, I can't wait for our main event here in just a couple of minutes. Absolutely. But as far as surprises go tonight, that performance by both would have to be the biggest surprise I think anybody expected. Taylor not doing more and Gibb looking fantastic. I know, I mean, we had that upset with Vinny Hacker and now this, I just, you never know. You never know in the world of boxing. The crowd showing their approval and their appreciation. And I am afraid that the next time we see Taylor Holder, it's going to be, how does he respond to a loss? A exactly. Uh, I can't wait to see those post-interviews. All right. The scores are in. It is time to find out who won our co-main event. Let's send it up to the ring. Here are the judges' results for this sanctioned exhibition match. Lorenzo Hunt scored the contest 49-46. Coach Chuck scored the contest 49 to 46. And Keon Wilson scored the contest 50 to 46. The combined scores put the bout in favor of a majority draw. What? 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 <laughs> oh, the internet is going to break it too. Oh. But that, that doesn't even make any sense. I, I... All right, we're going to take you to the final punch stats brought to you by Stat Hero. Uh, the UK YouTube is.